and welcome back to Felbrigenda! Hooray! Look at this lovely view up here, and I'm starting to fill in the roof of my house. You can see I've gone round here and I've started putting a slope in. Now it's a, a double slope, and... Uh, ooh, hang on, I don't want to jump down there. If I miss, I'm going to fall horribly. But you can see I'm doing an underslope on it as well. Now I want to finish doing this Oh, I've got a sneeze coming up. <gasps> um, so I want to finish doing this upper slope here. And then what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put um, solid blocks on the back here. With another solid block on, on top. And then that will give me like a, a double ridge angle slope up. Then a straight bit. And then I'll go for another double slope. That will give the whole, whole place sort of a, a nice... Something more interesting, I should say, than just uh, a horrible, smooth... <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying smooth is horrible, but... Oh, bye. Bye, oh, bye. I wish I could remember to... How to do the left and right mouse buttons. Now, look at that. That was lovely, wasn't it? Right, so, now I need to put some more slopes in. I need to turn this the other way. There we go. And. Oh. Yep. And. And, and. and there. Thank you. I need to do this all the way over to here. But I don't want to fall off, so I'll. <laughs> and. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button again! See how quickly that can go. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? Running backwards and slapping the button is the way to go, it seems. I nearly fell off then. I'm running around on my rooftop and that's just, generally speaking, a bit of a bad idea. But, uh, I've always done bad ideas. It, it's what I live for. Oh, dip there, there. God, that's hard. So I've got 68 slopes. That's going to get me over there easily, I think. And then I think that's the second ring done. I think uh, it's that, but oh, need to get that into the right angle, and then I can, and I can fall off apparently. Ah, did it again. Okay, so I think have I gone all the way around with this second level now? I have, and I've almost fell off, which is a bit silly. I should put the crouch button on, really. Okay, so as I was saying, the next, the plan for the next bit uh, is to put a solid uh, brown block on the back there. So is that, is that what, no, that's dirt. That's that, no, that's not what I wanted to put on the back. Have I got any roof blocks on me? Oh, what have I pressed? Press the wrong button again. Incompetent fool! Okay, so what blocks have I got? I've just got... Ooh, I'm actually running out of wood here, aren't I? That's dirt. No, I don't want to use bungalow war. I don't really want to keep these leaves. Uh, yes. Uh, just the odd pair of leaf blocks. No good to me, so let's just get rid of those. Um, sandstone. What's that? Mud. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have any meaningful amount of wood here. <sighs> you know, I need to get plenty of wood because I need to make... Actually, let's go back to the crafting. Is it wood wall? I think that might be what I'm trying to... or wishing to create. Is that it? Yeah, because that looks like plank and these slopes are planked as well. So if I... Oh, I've got wild wood. Ah, okay. I didn't realise I had all that wild wood. That's that's pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, try and get that onto my hot bar. So, oh, there it is. Wood wall. Position five. Excellent. So, lop, lop. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> hey, can I jump up there? I can. Excellent. So, if I hit the crouch key, I won't fall off in theory. So, to give you an idea where I'm going with this, 
Let's just put... How did you get up here, Piggy? Good grief! How did he get up here? It's miles up. Uh, yeah, so what I was going to say is, what I'm going to do is fill in this wood block around here. What I'm also going to do is a second layer. Yeah, I think that works. I like how the pattern goes over the edges of a, a block. It look, makes it look really nice. So the plan is to, to have this sort of double row of blocks here. And then... Oh, I'm crouching so I can't jump. And then on top is... This, uh, let me do it. Yep. And then I'll have another sort of double row of these slopes going up. So rather than... How did you get up here, Piggy? How did you do that? Look at him, he's so happy! He's leaping for joy. Crazy, crazy pig fool. Okay, so, uh, wood blocks again. Oh, one day I'll get those buttons right. Just not today. Oh, <laughs> that was nearly what we in the trade call uh, interesting. Ah, now look at that. The blocks are going to be going the wrong way when I double them up. They're running lengthwise there, but here I'm just going to be looking at the end of them. Hmm. I know this face is running lengthwise. Oh, that'll be alright then. Uh, I want a solid block there. What's it going to look like in the corner? Hmm. I don't know. Can't go as fast when you're crouching. Uh, and you can't jump when you're crouching either. There we go. So... That's part of this crouch again. Oh no, I don't want to crouch, otherwise I won't be able to get down there. Now I can crouch. There we go. Oh. It's every single time I hit the button, I get it wrong. You wouldn't think I have as many hours in this game as I do, would you? It's, it's interesting, I've got two computers. I, I've said this before, and I run one computer left-handed and one, hand, one right-handed. So I thought to try and solve the problem of me constantly pressing the wrong button. Um, now this computer is left-handed, so the one I got downstairs that is normally right-handed. What I did was I switched, because I can play Creativeverse on, on both computers, I switched the one downstairs uh, to be a left-handed mouse, which meant I moved it over. But there must be something that links the versions of the game together somehow. Even though I'm playing on two different computers, it is the same Steam account, so that might be part of it. But, even though I switched the computer to be left-handed downstairs, and I put the computer, the mouse on the left-hand side, just as you should, um, it plays in Creativeverse as a right-handed mouse, and even though like, I've tried reversing it, it just doesn't work. I, I can't explain it, I can't fix it, it seems. Okay, I'm getting to the end of the block. How many more of these? I get eight for for two. Oh, that's not a bad count, is it? But now I'm out. Okay, well, I can finish this line here. Um, I was thinking, now, when I picked up that... Is it weep, uh, weeping wood? Weep wood? That gave me access to extra wooden bungalow wall type blocks. So I'm thinking it might be worth... Heading out into the wild, it is blue, wild blue yonder, and just looking for different wood types to see if that's going to open up any other menu options. Now I've got plenty of crags wood. I've got this wild wood. I've got the the, the like silver birch wood as well. I don't know what other types of wood there are. I've seen... I've seen other players of Creativeverse have found other types of wood 
Some with a very large sort of macro pattern on them. Ah, oh, look at that, I'm out. And I haven't finished going round. <laughs> Wah, it's not fair. And so on. So, my question is, where do I go? I don't know if that's C. Let's check the map. Oh, what did I just do? Yeah, that looks like it's opening to C, so that's not the way to go. Wow, you can see my base on the map now. That's excellent. So, does this move me left and right? Yes, okay. So, I could head this way again. I think this is where I found the wildwood. But there's a lot of grey, un or still masked areas up that way. So, north. If I just head north until I get into this area, I might come across some new types of wood. And I think that'll be worth investigating. So, let's do it, shall we? So, oh, I've already crashed. Uh, will I get over? No, and now I'm going to hurt myself. Oh! Damn it, stupid! <laughs> running around to fly in! Ah. Hello, Leafy. Okay, so uh, it's, it's become self-evident that I should obviously keep a constant supply of medical mushrooms because um, I'm an incompetent flyer. I think I'm going to have to just use flying for trying to escape. I can't be trusted. And you see, there's the, the... What is it called? It looks like silver birch. It's called ashwood. Okay. Not birch, ashwood. Let's see what we can find out here. Because I can chop the... any wood I find. I should be able to chop into slabs and I can use that for making wood walls, etc. Alright, so there's like a mountain range up here. Ooh, okay, so I may have to just fly over that. Let's see if I can fly up here and not die. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hit that. that. Hitting the mount is fine. It's the falling down bit that's not. Okay, let's carry on going north here. Ooh, ice. Hello. What are you called again? Oh, Rambo. Whoa. Whoa. Do not be jumping in there. That would be bad. Let's get up here. I want to keep heading north, so if I can get a good jumping off point, perhaps up here. Wow, look at that. Mountain range just goes on forever. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can hit the next peak. Will I be able to climb? I'm running out of thrust. Let's, uh, let's head over here. Now, any new trees down here? Those look like just normal firs. I've seen these big trees in the savannas, but... Hello, Rambo. So there are different trees based on what biome you're in. So let's go again. Wow, that was weird. Jamming monsters again, and I can't eat mushrooms while I'm flying. That's a bit disappointing. Come on, seems to be going really slow. Now you do get a little boost if you press the accelerator on level ground. You do get a boost, so that suggests you slow down as you fly. So I'm learning stuff. Now, hang on, there's uh, some trees over here. They, oh no, they just look like normal ash wood. Let's keep heading north. I'm going to run out of thrust in a second. Oh, I'm over the peak. Excellent. What have we got over here? Well, whatever it is we've got. Wow, that's a big cave. It's right in there. Houses. And these trees don't actually seem to have any trunks on them at all. It seems to be all leaf. Oh, 
Let's have another mushroom. Doesn't appear to be any trunk on them. I wonder what's inside those leaves though. Is, is there a trunk inside? Get down to this one. Without perilously dying. Because if there is a, a trunk in the middle of that, it might be... <laughs> elderwood leaves. Okay, so let's dig through the elderwood leaves. Oh! That was new to me. Elderwood leaves, and there's a trunk. Elderwood? Is it just wood? Does it give me any... I didn't see any new recipe open when I picked it up. It's worth a try. I think I just got the indicator that it was new. I didn't get anything telling me it was opening new recipes or anything. Okay, so it looks like we're moving into the canyon area over there. Oh well, let's go for it. Let's see. I don't think there's going to be a lot of trees in the canyon area. But we'll have a look. Sandstone trees. Now that would be something, wouldn't it? There's a lot of big nasty monsters in the canyons. I don't like the canyons. Okay, what we got over here? These look like trees I've seen before. Let's head up here. Keep going generally north. And rest. Okay, let's have a little peek over here. What we got? I think I've seen these trees before. But let's... Let's take a little look. Elderflower. Mm, okay. Elderwood again. Just not covered in snow. Okay. Uh, I'm not finding anything good here. Let's keep heading north. Let's head uphill. And let's avoid those burning mobs as well while we're at it. Keep jumping. Just keep jumping. Get up the top here. Look at that. It's barren, this area. Barren, I say. Okay, let's uh, keep going. The little danger of it getting dark on us before we find anything, to be honest. And you see, that there's those big savanna trees I was talking about. I don't know if I've got any wood off of those trees. So let's go have a little look. A long, slow dive. There we go. Where are we? Let's see. Archwood. That's new. No recipe. Didn't say any new recipe was unlocked. Oh, well, I'm learning stuff though. I'm picking up new products here, and even if I don't get a new recipe out of this, this wood might actually look good. You know, just as a straightforward building material. Hello, Pixie. So, let's get up again. Oh, let's just land. There we go. Yeah, it's a very dry biome, this. So, let's carry on again. Let's see what we can find in the near distance. If I don't find anything now, you know, in the next few minutes, then uh, I'll abandon it. That's a different looking tree. It has the same leaves I'm used to seeing, but the tree looks different. So is it Crags? It is Cragswood. Dang, that was a waste of time stopping. I thought these sort of bubbles here might indicate a different type of tree. Oh boy. Don't like it getting dark on me. But look at the formations here, they're crazy. Crazy crags. Hello, so what's that over there? Looks like something different. Are those trees different up there? Let's take a little look here. 
Cragswood. Little Cragswood trees are oh, not very well developed because they're up too high, probably. Whoa, that was close. Are these all Cragswood? They look it. Wow. Well, what's that there? Looks like a different type of block. Wonder if I can make that. Might just be. Might just be vines or mould or something. If I take this block out, am I going to plummet? Yeah, it's just moss. Ah! I thought I'd found something different there. Weeds! Oh, weeds were new to me. Okay. I don't see anything to get excited about here. Wow, look at the view. That's worth getting excited about. Yeah, lots of little crankswood trees over the terrain here. I wonder if that wild wood was the only one that's going to be exciting. I know there's other types of wood as well though, that's the thing. I know there is, I've seen it. Land here. And dodge the monsters! Oh, leave me alone, monster! Ooh, is that an Arctic Miru? He looks a little different to the normal ones. I need a better stone, a uh, better sword than this stone one, though. Let's see what you are. Oh my goodness, it's around me. I think I'm gonna be defeated. Dang! And that's how it ends, ladies and germs. That's how it ends when you go fighting with a silly stone sword when you should be having something like an awesome diamond. Okay, folks, I'll see you next time. Bye!